From the hills of northern Greece, the places in Turkey where refugees hide out before trying to cross are easy to see. But crossing countries means crossing the intimidating Evros River. It is the Greece-Turkey border. More and more refugees are attempting this route, even though they know how dangerous it is. Even outside the risk of drowning or dying of cold in these huge empty spaces, any number of refugees have told us they've been threatened and forcibly turned around by Greek police, acting in coordination with Frontex, the European Union's border agency. This 18-year-old Syrian was in a smuggler's boat with his younger sister. The police came up to us in their boat. They told us, you can't cross. They made us turn around. These two traffickers claimed they witnessed a boatload of passengers being shot at from the Greek side. They saw the Greek military. They threw themselves back into the dinghy and started going back. But the Greeks shot three bullets into the dinghy and it started to sink. One of them didn't know how to swim. If his friends hadn't helped him, he would have drowned. This Syrian actually got across, walked miles to a village before being stopped at a road checkpoint. They said, you're Arab and you look like you're going to go to Europe. They looked around our whole group of nine and took us all off the bus. They didn't beat us up, but they took us back to the river and pushed us in a boat back to the Turkish military police. All of those things are illegal under international law. Increasingly, though, it looks like Europe has given up worrying about such things. The European Commission warned Greece that pushbacks were illegal as long ago as 2013, but since then, Greece itself, Hungary, Bulgaria, Slovenia, all built fences to keep refugees out, and many other countries simply closed their borders, and the European Commission did absolutely nothing about it. Greece must have thought, if everybody else is doing it, then why can't we? The police, who'd previously given us access to their fence and border patrols, gave us a statement denying that they turn any refugees around and claim their priority is human dignity. But human rights advocates say they know pushbacks happen all the time and accuse the Greek government of breaking international law. There's only one choice, to, f to follow the law. If, if you start bypassing law, it means that uh, your rule of law system is collapsing. And this is a problem that uh, goes together with a refugee crisis, as we call it. It goes into a refugee crisis, but it's a reception crisis. And it's a rule of law crisis for Europe. The river itself is regarded as a military zone on both sides. It's also so remote, there is no scrutiny of law enforcement. What is undeniable is that refugees have died in large, unreported numbers, trying to get across this intimidating stretch of water. And there is no safe route whatsoever into Europe on the land border for people seeking asylum and safety from harm. Lawrence Lee Al Jazeera, on the Evros River.